Edward Bernard Peter Buck, born Buck Melcher, August 24, 1954, known as Ed Buck, is an American businessman, political activist, and political fundraiser. A former model and actor, he made a significant amount of money running and selling the data service company Gopher Courier. He became involved in politics after the election of Evan Meckham as governor of Arizona in 1986. Buck, an Arizona native, led the effort to recall him from office due to Mecham's perceived racism and corruption. Mecham was impeached by the Arizona Senate in 1988 on the basis of various charges, including misusing government funds, before a recall election could occur. The experience led Buck to change his party affiliation from Republican to Democrat, and he has since donated heavily to Democratic politicians. In 2007, he ran an unsuccessful campaign for the City Council of West Hollywood, California. Two African-American men have been discovered dead in Buck's West Hollywood home since 2017 due to drug overdoses. Several reports indicated that Buck had a history of bringing African-American men to his house, where he would reportedly inject them with crystal methamphetamine for sexual gratification, and 50 civil rights organizations called for the Los Angeles Police Department to investigate. On September 17, 2019, Buck was arrested and charged with three counts of battery causing serious injury, administering methamphetamine, and maintaining a drug house. Early Life Ed Buck was born as Edward Bernard Peter Buck Melter on August 24 or 25, 1954, in Steubenville, Ohio. He grew up in Phoenix, Arizona where he was educated at North High School and graduated from Phoenix College. Career Buck began his career as a fashion model in Europe, where he also acted in television commercials and two movies. He purchased Gopher Courier for $250,000 and became a millionaire upon selling it. Buck led the campaign to impeach Arizona Republican Governor Evan Meckham in 1987 by founding the Meckham Watchdog Committee. He announced the campaign on December 21, 1986, before Meckham had even been sworn in, and was the leader of a protest on the day of Mecham's inauguration. In particular, Buck highlighted Mecham's opposition to a king holiday, his proposal for voluntary drug testing and his plan to reduce the state police force by up to 300 officers. Buck distributed bumper stickers that read Meckham for ex-governor, and Arizona Attorney General Robert K. Corbin ruled that state employees were allowed to use them on their cars. The anti meckham campaign made Buck a household name in Arizona according to the Arizona Republic, Arizona's largest newspaper by circulation. In retaliation, Buck was attacked by Julian Sanders, the chairman of Arizonans for Traditional Family Values, over his homosexuality. Buck switched his registration from Republican to Democrat because of homophobia in 1988. After moving to West Hollywood, California, Buck ran unsuccessfully for city council in 2007. He formerly served on the steering committee of the Stonewall Democratic Club. He has donated nearly $30,000 to Democratic candidates like Hillary Clinton, Ted Lieu, Pete Aguilar, and Raja Krishnamurthy as well as the Getting Things Done PAC. Criminal Investigations On July 27, 2017, a young African-American man named Gemmel Moore died in Buck's apartment. Paramedics found Moore, who had worked as an escort, naked on a mattress in the living room with a male pornography movie playing on the television, according to a Los Angeles County coroner's report. A spokesman for the coroner's office, Ed Winter, said Buck was inside his Laurel Avenue home at the time of Moore's death and that drug paraphernalia was recovered from the scene. Police found sex toys, syringes, and clear plastic bags with suspected methamphetamine in a toolbox roll cabinet in the living room, 24 syringes with brown residue, 5 glass pipes with white residue and burn marks, a plastic straw with possible white residue, clear plastic bags with white powdery residue, and a clear plastic bag with a piece of crystal-like substance. The death was investigated by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, and prosecutors declined to charge Buck on July 26, 2018. On January 7, 2019, another African-American man, 55-year-old Timothy Michael Dean, 
died at Buck's home. Dean, originally from Tampa, Florida, had lived in West Hollywood for two decades and had acted in pornographic films. Since the death of Gemmel Moore, multiple reports have indicated that Buck had a history of luring young, black gay men to his apartment, where he would inject them with crystal methamphetamine for sexual gratification. Jasmine Kanick, a local writer, activist, and political candidate who investigated Gemmel Moore's death, predicted on Twitter on July 28, 2018, that any further deaths at Ed's residence would be the responsibility of the Los Angeles County District Attorney for failing to bring charges. Following Dean's death, a coalition of 50 civil rights organizations released a statement calling on local law enforcement to conduct a thorough investigation of Buck's role in the incident and on elected officials to return all contributions received from Buck. Buck was arrested on September 17, 2019 and charged with three counts of battery causing serious injury, administering methamphetamine, and maintaining a drug house, according to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. He is accused of injecting a 37-year-old man, who overdosed but survived, with methamphetamine on September 11. Personal Life Buck came out to his parents as gay at the age of 16. He changed his surname from Buck Melter to Buck in 1981 or 1983. He was the Grand Marshal of the 1989 International Gay Rodeo. Buck formerly lived near Piestua Peak in Phoenix, Arizona. He has lived in West Hollywood, California, since 1991.